Hi. Welcome to Love and Forever Evolving, where we are always and forever evolving. Hello, Aquarius. Welcome back, my loves. Welcome to your love reading. I hope all has been well, Aquarius. Hope you've been taking care of yourselves, eating plenty of fruit and vegetables, and taking care of that beautiful, sexy ass temple of yours, Aquarius, as it take care of you, my loves. Welcome back, Aquarius. Come on in, have a seat. I hope all has been well. Hope you've been having a productive week here so far. All right. Shout out to the evolving spirits. Shout out to the soul tribe members, gang, gang. I appreciate you all. I thank you so much for your continuous love and support. Delphi, if you're new here, Aquarius, again, welcome. Delphi, be a part of our Soul Tribe team. It's Delphi where we do evolve each and every day. All right. I also provide a private community as well where we do post daily content there for you all as well. And you also receive discounts unlimited each and every time you book a personal reading with me or any email questions you get discounts for and love live stream questions you have access for discounts as well all right so shout out to the soul tribe member gang gang in the building and i appreciate you Aquarius, for all your continuous love and support all right so we're going to go ahead and dive into your beautiful reading here today all right we're first going to start with a message from your higher self aquarius your guardian angels or your ancestors here whichever one comes in here first okay all right, and if you stick around, we're going to use a traditional tarot deck to dive into your love life, Aquarius, and see what's coming towards you in regards to love and the potential outcome for you, all right? Guardian angels, ancestors of the highest light, please protect my space, aura, and most of all, my heart. As I channel the messages here today for the beautiful Aquarians, what do we have for Aquarius placements, sun, moon, rising, Venus, North and South Node placements, Gordon Angels. What do we have for my Aquas? Ooh, okay. We automatically had a card jumped out and over the table, Aquarius. So let's see what is this. All right, we have two cards here. We have Rest and Reconsider, Aquarius, the number nine. All right, so there is definitely a cycle here that is processing to close out for you. All right, this is at the number nine. You being at the nine energy at your state of form right now, meaning that you're at the energy of whatever this is that is now about to wrap up for you, okay? It's now to consider, all right, everything and think everything through regarding this situation or circumstance, okay? Rather, this is someone that you are engaging here with and you're coming to a closure of a cycle with this particular person here. All right, we're always closing cycles and going into new cycles each season, each cycle, each year, right? So there is definitely a situation here that is needing your attention here, Aquarius, and you're needing to get some rest regarding this, okay? And some of you all, you may find yourself needing to reconsider, okay? Rather, this is in regards to a person, a place, or a thing, right? You're wanting to, before you make your decision here, I'm picking up, before you decide to do whatever it is that you decide to do, right? This is guarding uh, relationship-wise or a decision-wise in regards to your daily life, your routine, your career, your finances. Some type of decision here that you're guarding angels here in a nutshell, rather for you to first rest, take some time off of work or just take some time to yourself where you can kind of think things through in regards to whatever decision here this is that some of y'all are deciding to make. OK, and if this is something that you need to reflect on and reconsider. OK, so let's see what other card here jumps out. We have clarity of belief. Yes, Aquarius. All right. Clarity of belief. All right. So knowing that the number one here. OK, and nine plus one, that's 10. Yeah. As I mentioned, this is definitely a cycle here for you that's closing out. All right. And it's about to be a completion with this tolling out to the number 10. 10 breaks down to the number five. Something that's going to allow change here into your life is why you're needing to evaluate this situation on both sides here, right? This is in regards to you and someone else, right? For some of you all and beginning to gain some clarity here. You guys are going to get some clarity here in regarding this situation or circumstance here as well. All right. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you, guardian angels and ancestors. Those are messages, Aquarius, from your higher self and your guardian angels there in regarding this situation 
or what's going on spiritually, okay? Those are messages in regards to what's going on on your spiritual path and journey, Aquarius, okay? So during this time spiritually here, my apologies, loves, during this time here spiritually, you want to make sure that you're getting enough rest, okay? You're doing some self-care for yourself, whatever that can may be for you, all right? So that way when this information and you receiving this clarity of belief comes in for you, you could be in the right state of mind, okay? We know how you Aquarius is living your mind 24-7, honey, okay? All right, so we want to make sure that your mind and your thoughts are able to be clear, all right? So that's what your guardian angels have for you. Wow, beautiful. Definitely hit that resonate again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, love. Let's now dive into your love life, Aquarians. Let's see what's coming towards you here for love in the month of October. Guardian angels, ancestors, what do we have for my beautiful Aquarians? What do we have, Guardian Angels, for the Aquarians? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North and South Node. Regarding love. Regarding love, Guardian Angels. We have Hermit, okay? This is Earth Energy here, all right? Also, this is, of course, Virgo Energy. So this is the energy here for some of you all. This person may be a Virgo here. Others of you all, this is just the energy here because it's definitely matching up with the energy for rest and reconsider here, okay? We know the Hermit Core also talks about going into isolation from people, places, and situations and figuring things out, taking that path and that journey alone to kind of set yourself to the side and figure out, you know, what's going on around you what has caused the situation to play out the way it has, okay? So a lot of you all are going to be doing a lot of contemplating and thinking if you're not already. There is some type of decision here or something that's going to take your energy to overcome or remove yourself from a certain situation here, okay? Definitely, I feel like you have this opportunity to do so whenever this clarity comes in. So this is going to happen here for some of you all this week sometime this month or the next following month before the cycle here closes okay this is definitely coming up in the future here for some of you all but it's different stages of course right some of you have already gotten this message or this download or just been feeling yourself nudging to need to do this here and you're in this energy currently resting figuring things out okay others of you have already detached from people places and situations here Aquarius to work on, heal, and go through that dark night of the soul, right? As they stated here for readers as well, right? That's definitely here what's going on when it comes to a relationship here for some of you all, okay? Some of y'all, I feel like Aquarius, you have decided to detach yourself from this particular person, okay? This Virgo here for some of you all, or vice versa, this Virgo has decided to detach themselves, isolate themselves from you, this relationship here, and for some of y'all, if there is no communication, this is definitely why. Because they are definitely focusing in on their self. They're not giving anyone around them as well any attention, okay? If this person is not communicating with you nine times out of ten, this is the energy everybody else is receiving here from this particular person as well. Because the Hermit card talks about going ghost, okay? The Hermit goes ghost on your ass. You ain't gonna know when ghost... I want to say the hermit, but ghost. You're not going to know. Basically, you're right, spirit. You're not going to know when the ghost leaves or when the ghost comes, right? It's just like that type of energy, that ghost energy, okay? So definitely if this particular person ghosts you, all right, it's because they had to go within and this is what they're doing for others of you all, okay? So let's see what else comes out here for love, for Aquarians. Thank you for those messages. What else, Gordon Angels? All right, so we have the lovers here, Gemini energy here, Aquarius. Yes, fuck it up. Some of y'all, this particular person here may be a Gemini here. Okay, this is definitely referencing around a relationship or a partnership here, okay, for the ones that are in a relationship here. Others of you all that are single here, this is the process that you're going through yourselves, okay? You're ghosting yourself from people that you normally would hang around with or associate yourself with, including even family. And you're going off to figure out Aquarius and what Aquarius want and what makes you happy, right? After experiencing and doing for others, 
you're now focusing in on yourself, okay? And as you do that, this is what's coming towards you in the future, the lovers, okay? Some of y'all are going to be meeting someone here new. If you haven't met this particular person already, for the ones that are single, that's what I'm picking up here. And others of you all that are in a current relationship, a marriage, okay? A long-term relationship here. You could, again, be separated from this particular person here, all right? Because, again, this individual has gone into hermit mode here, okay? So this is why of no contact or communication here, okay? This is definitely someone that you met in a previous life, okay? And you two are definitely, as you evolve, this is how this works and comes back towards the cycle because everything is a cycle, Aquarius. We have the page of pentacles here, earth energy here again. Some of y'all, again, this person could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo here, all right? We know the page of cups. Ooh, I wanted to say the page of pentacles, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, you're going to have some love messages coming in as well. We know the page of cups represents emotions, your feelings, okay? And we know the pages are represented as messages in the tarot deck card. So definitely a message here coming in, as I heard, being channeled out was the Page of Cups. You could have a message coming in Aquarius from a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Sometimes my higher self, of course, is always the beat ahead of me, all right? But however, we do here see in the physical realm, right, the Page of Pentacles, okay? So not only is this person going to be coming towards you communicating in based off their feelings with the cup water energy, but also this individual here, it was coming to, you know, wanting to reestablish or build some type of partnership or relationship here with you. Okay, so this is definitely coming in, but I feel like this person had to go within first and figure some things out, not only about other energies around them and how they went through their own obstacles and challenges here, but also in regards to themselves, okay, before they can get themselves together. And I feel like there is some healing here that is needed to take in place and that's being done. This person is actually going within and doing the work. And this is so much positive energy that this individual here, right? This is your person here, Aquarius, that we're speaking amongst here or regarding you all, okay? But this is definitely what's coming towards you or this particular partnership with you and this other individual here, Aquarius, in the future, okay? So some positive results here. So this is why it's always important to go within, check ourselves, get some reflection and some, you know, work done on ourselves, okay? And whatever that is, because it's not like we have a fucking book or a list of things, right? It's just as it comes. As we go through these moon phases and as we transition in different seasons and also different zodiac sign energies, okay, which is we're now about to transition over uh, finishing up with Libra energy, Scorpio energy. And we know Scorpio energy talks about the dark transition of, you know, ways, patterns, things that you've done that you are no longer being attached to, okay? So a lot of you all have realized you had to detach yourself from patterns or ways of doing things that no longer resonate for you, okay? So a lot of that is going to be happening as a collective energy, all right? Going into that Scorpio energy, which talks about transformation, going through a rebirth process, putting away things that just you're done with and you don't want to go back to, okay? A lot of us is going to find our energy doing that in the month of November, okay? So, wow, beautiful spread here. Let's get you a love message here, Aquarius, as we close out here. What we have here for my beautiful Aquarius, definitely if the reading here has resonated for your spirit and your higher self, Aquarius, don't forget to hit that big fat thumbs up, loves, all right? Definitely if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Subscribe, my loves. Be a part of family. This is definitely where we love and we evolve each and every day on this platform. All right, and also, if you have enjoyed the energies here, you can join me for Wake and Tarot every rising at 8 a.m. Central Time. We do all zodiac sign readings, and we have different topics every day in regards to our zodiac sign, all right, or in regards to whatever the topic is of that day. You can definitely adjust your notifications so that way you can be notified for when I go live every Monday through Friday, all right, at 8 a.m. Central Time, Aquarius, okay? And definitely, my loves, I do go live on Saturday nights for love live stream questions. If you do have a question, you can definitely meet me there on Saturday night at 10 p.m., all right? And we can definitely get your question answered. You can email me your question. I will definitely provide you a number so you can remain anonymous, 
All right, you screenshot your payment and then I will provide you a number that you remain anonymous, okay? And I will place timestamps of queries right following after the live stream for you all as well. So that way you have the opportunity to go back and reflect on your question if needed throughout the week, okay? Yes, I love you, Aquarius. So let's see here. Let's see what love message we have here before we close out your reading today. Beautiful spread here today. Once again, Aquarius, let's get you a love message here before we head out. All right. So we have two cards that came out here. Well, technically four. These all fell on the floor. So I am going to take them, Aquarius. All right. So we have here, stay optimistic about your love life. Now, this is in reverse here, okay? So, some of you all, please stay optimistic about your love life. Don't give up on yourself or even love, okay? Love comes in in all shapes, forms, and fashions because this card is in reverse, okay? And others of you all have been, definitely been enlightened and keeping the faith in regarding your relationship or just your love life as well with this card being in reverse, okay? Okay? So let's see what other messages come out. We have, you deserve love, Aquarius. Yes, of course, okay? Some of y'all, this is coming in from Aquarius or a Sagittarius here, okay? I wanted to mention Sagittarius, but Aquarius was very significant as well. So some of y'all are dating or engaging here with a Aquarius, or you've been being Aquarius like yourself. Wow, that'd be dope, right? You are lovable, Aquarius, okay? So some of y'all, definitely you're getting this message here is what I mentioned here Okay, from this individual here that may again be an earth sign, a fire sign here, a Sagittarius or a water sign, Cancer and Pisces or Scorpio. Wow, we have release your ex. Okay, so your guardian angels and your ancestors here is requesting for you, Aquarius, to release your ex. And others of you all, if this is how if this is already have been done, it's time to it's time. I'm sorry, my apologies. The time has come to clear your energies, okay? So others of you all that, again, are single and you have already been down this process here, you've already removed yourself from your partner or your previous relationship or even your previous marriage, okay? Now is the time to clear the energies around you. And this is how you know when you have something good coming in because it's time to clear energy so you can make room, Aquarius, so you can make space for what's to come, okay? Last card we have is children, all right? Your love life is being affected by children, wow, all right? So shout out to the moms and the dads out there, all right? Definitely if you all are mothers or fathers, okay, it definitely is a time here from your guardian angels and your ancestors to make sure that you are giving your child the undivided attention, Make sure that you are giving them as much tension as possible. That's all kids want, need, and love is your attention, okay? It means the world to your children when you are laughing at their silly jokes or whatever that may be, just talking to them, sitting down, communicating with them. This is going into the season of winter. A lot of reflection is going to be going on on a collective level. A lot of transitioning, a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions are going to be addressed with that Scorpio energy, okay? So this is the best time to make sure that you are paying close attention to your children, all right? And giving them all the time that they need, okay? Some of y'all may be transitioning from a separation and, you know, your, your children may be, you know, just as trying to adjust to things as you are. And I'm sure they might not tell you how they feel and they may hide their emotions, especially if they're teenagers. OK, you know, if they're more younger then they're going to let you know how they feel, you know, they don't have a filter. OK, but once they get to those teens, honey, they tend to hide their feelings just as much as us adults do. OK, so that's very important. That's very significant for those that are parents. OK. All right, making sure that you're checking in on your kiddos, okay? Rather if they are little ones or teenagers, okay? Always check in just to make sure that they're okay as much as time as you can get with them, all right? Wow, I love it, Aquarius. Beautiful spread here. Again, definitely if the reading has resonated for you, all right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, love. It's always a pleasure assisting you. Again, I am available for personal readings. If you would love to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be down below, loves, in the description box, my loves, all right? Thank you all so much for your continuous love and support. I appreciate you, Aquarius, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.